Rainbow trout is a type of fish. It's just one of the many different kinds of trout which are in the same family as salmon. They are named after their colorful, shimmery scales. Rainbow trout live most, if not their entire lives, in cold, fresh water and are native to rivers and lakes in western North America, but can migrate out to salt water and back. They eat insects, crustaceans, and other small fish. Because of their popularity, they've been introduced in many other areas around the world. Did you know that a group of rainbow trout is called a hoover? Let's begin this project by creating a marker transfer. Marker transfer, what you're going to do is put some colors onto a piece of Ziploc plastic bag. You notice that I have some warm colors on one side, moving into cool colors on the opposite side. You get to choose your color scheme. Maybe you wanna use all cold colors. Maybe you wanna use all warm colors. Regardless what you do, I want you to fill up your baggie with um, some markers. Now I am taking a spray bottle and I am spritzing. You can kind of see that the colors are starting to get a little bit more vibrant. I slowed it down a little bit so that you can see I put on some spray with my spray bottle and then I'm laying the paper right on top of the marker. You can even see how it's starting to go through or bleed through onto the paper. And then I'm gonna peel it off showing some marker getting placed onto a piece of paper. I'm gonna set that aside to dry. Once that's drying, I am now going to do my background paper. Using a piece of black paper, I'm taking my white paint, painting the bubbles on the bubble wrap and just gently pressing that onto the paper. When the white paint get, uh, isn't very easy to see anymore, I'm just gonna add some more white paint on it. Now, this is for some more printmaking fun. I used a lid of a glue bottle um, and I'm dipping it into the white paint and printing that onto my project as well. Now, while that's setting aside to dry, Let's go ahead and get started practicing drawing out some of these rainbow trout fish. I went ahead and grabbed my pencil and I'm starting to use a drawing guide to help me get started on drawing my rainbow fish. All right, as I'm drawing this out, you'll notice that I'm drawing it in pencil first, looking for the basic shapes of the fish as well as adding on the gills and the fins to the upper and lower parts of the body. And once I finished with all of my pencil work, I'm gonna take a black Sharpie and go over that with a black Sharpie so that everybody can see the designs that I used to create my rainbow fish. I shouldn't call it rainbow fish, a rainbow trout rather. Once I've gone over my pencil work, now let's start looking at value changes. Using that black Sharpie, I'm going to add some hatch marks. This is called hatching. The little dots are called stippling. Taking a look at some of these ways to create value, the top one shows hatching. It's a row of lines going the same direction. We're utilizing that top way to show value changes in our rainbow trout. Looking at the second one, third one, and the fourth one, the fourth one is some stippling. Notice that the dots that are closer together create darker values. The dots that are further away has lighter values. Let's watch how I use hatching and stippling into creating value changes into my rainbow trout. Very, very lightly with your stippling. It doesn't even make a sound. Stippling is when you are just putting on your dots. Again, you'll notice that there's not any pounding or any pressure on my marker just a few hatches or hatching to show value and then a few dots that will allow you to get some value changes into your project.